here's a question looking at histograms. I've done a tutorial on this um, on a playlist where this will appear, so please watch out if you're new to it. David carries out a survey of the speeds of vehicles passing a point on the motorway. From the data, he draws this histogram. Okay, complete the table below. Okay, so what we remember then is that frequency density is given as frequency divided by class width. Class width, swapping them over, is frequency over frequency density. And then frequency is just multiplying both sides by the frequency density. So it's CW multiplied by FW. Uh, FD, so FD, FD. So frequency is class width multiplied by frequency density. Now this graph is awful in terms of its uh, reproduction. Oh, so let's put some lines on it. I think let's. No, I think that one's going to be low, isn't it? So let's just put that one on just there. I think that's your eight and that's your four. So remember, histograms are proportional. The area is proportional to the um, to the frequency, and we've got continuous data along the bottom in its intervals so what we have here we're trying to find the frequency number of cars is a frequency so frequency is what we're after now the class width on the first one class width cw is going to equal 10 fd the frequency density is going to equal and this is going to be 3.6 for 10 blocks is 4 therefore each block is 0.4 so 3.6 so going back to this for my frequency it's those two multiplied it's for uh, class width times by the frequency density, which is going to give us 36. On the next one, again, the class width is 10. The frequency density is 8.0. So a nice straightforward one, 80. The next one, class width is now 20. Frequency density, if we look up here, remember each of these blocks is going to be 0 0.4. So this one looks to be 10.8. 20 times 10.8 will give us, uh, what's that going to give us? 200 and, uh, let's just, in fact, is that uh, 10 point, let's just check this. There's 8.4, 8.8, 9.2, 9.6, 10. So that should be 10.4, I think. Yeah, 10.4. 20 times by 10.4 will give us 208. I think that's, on the correct notch, how many notches have we got? We've got one, two, three, four. Yeah, so it's uh, 10.4. Again, in the exam, you'll get something a bit nicer to read. You can hardly see this. Next one, 10. That's the class width, 60, 70, and the frequency density is going to be 11.2. If we look, we're two notches back. Each notch is 0 0.4. So 112. And then finally, class width on this one is 30. Frequency density, we've got five blocks, so that's exactly two. So we end up with 60. So, all done, all read off from the histogram. Uh, now we've got to find which range uh, is the modal range for speed. Well, it's that one right there because it has the most, it's got the highest frequency or the most people are falling into that bracket. So just be a bit careful, ensure that you can read these and you understand what each block is worth in terms of uh, the frequency density. But that's a fair B to A grade GCSE question.